decided to be here with me today welcome back to my channel i am your girl kenyatta here and today honey i'm going to be showing you how i did this y'all already know your girl was coming through as per usual well excuse the angle of my camera y'all already know it's so that y'all can get in there and see how to do what i do okay anyway I'm feeling myself. So this is the way your girl rocked her hair on her birthday celebration with the homies because y'all know we gonna link up and we are going to do us. You feel me? Do some adulting, have a few drinks, some laughs, some memories, and we're gonna do it up for my birth, okay? okay but I could not come in and not show y'all how I did this fabulous. Let's, 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 okay. Anywho, we're gonna go ahead and get into how I did this style, so keep on watching. I'm gonna go ahead and get into how I section my hair for this style. Two parts here and over in the back, okay? And what I've done is I maintenance my hair around this section, this entire section, the back and the sides. I've maintenanced it and put it into four ponytails. See? Four ponytails. So we're gonna start off on this bottom one. I have a few baby locks back here. So what we're gonna do is take a lock, I have two. I'm just gonna start wrapping around. Just wrapping the lock around the hair. Just wrap it around, you know, try not to leave any space. Just wrap it around, pretty simple. We're gonna keep on wrapping, okay? And I use ponytail holders for my barrel rolls because I don't like anything to be pulling and I don't like anything to be tight. So I have pretty loose ponies here, see? pretty loose ponytails i ain't about that tight life y'all already know um so i'm just wrapping see it's coming out great so now that i'm at the end toward the end at least this one is at the end i'm just gonna go ahead and fold it downward like this and i'm gonna grab more locks longer ones and just wrap it overlap it on top of what we laid down and we're going to continue to barrel roll this lock, okay? So I'm just wrapping, you did. Wrapping, okay? Simple, simple, simple. And as you can see, on this one, we're coming up at the end. I know these are like a lot of locks at the end, y'all, but I have a lot of combined locks, so I could grab two at the root and at the end, it'd be like three or four, okay? so. The end, we're gonna fold it down, okay? And we're gonna grab more locks and continue to wrap and overlap, overlap what we laid down. Just hold it and continue to wrap. Very simple. I don't suggest pulling, just wrap it to where it's always comfortable. I don't like tight. So I definitely suggest putting it into a little ponytail um, before you begin to barrel roll because um, yeah if you don't use ponytail holders I'm pretty sure it's gonna you're gonna feel a pulling sensation at some point during your barrel roll um, when you do this style I'm just saying I know because I've done it before and eh, y'all know I got the tweaking so boom there it is so I'm doing the same thing just wrapping it around the hair and this doesn't have to be perfectly straight because what I'm, I'm gonna pin this up, you know? So I'm just wrapping it. Now that we're at that little end piece right here, I'm gonna fold it down, just grab another lock and just continue to wrap. Pretty simple, okay? And that's what I'm doing here. <sighs> Pretty simple. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pin this up and we're gonna get to that in a minute. So just continue to wrap. This one is going down pretty far. 
Secure it with a rubber band. That's when I'm doing my hair so long and can't fit in the screen, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, I put a rubber band at the end, okay? Yes. Like, I'm gonna be pinning my burr rolls up in the back and I want kind of a swirly effect, a roll type of situation, but I also want it to be as small and condensed as possible. So this is straight freelance, y'all. We about to see how this gonna go, okay? I'm just saying, though. We about to see how this gonna go. And I'm not sure, I think I mentioned before in one of my previous videos the kind of hair pins I use because my hair is so long. See, I have these long ones here, okay? Now, I don't really like using a lot of these pens. You feel me? There's nothing wrong with using pens. Just when you get to overdoing it, it becomes damaging to your hair. So I'm going to use these to pin up my hair, and I'm going to try not to use a lot of them. I don't like a lot of pens, but I definitely, for this style, it's definitely going to be some, it's going to be pinned up in the back. So we won't have to and go ahead and get it. one tip that I have, when you put your pens in, you know how they spread out when you stick them in your hair? Try to hold them together like this, like close together when you stick them in so that they stay together because you get the maximum use out of your pens when you do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it, stick it here. What I'm doing is just trying to ease the pen in so that it's not stabbing my hair. I'm just trying to let it glide through to where it's gonna go. I'm not really forcing it into my lock because I don't want it to do that. So I'm just kind of letting it glide through to see where it is going to be. And there we have it. Because don't know how you use pens and you just poking it in there. You don't want to do that because you're stabbing at your locks. You feel me? And I love my baby. So what I'm going to do is, see how I have the twirl? I'm going to twirl it. Just like that. And I kind of want to fold that one a little kind of inward like that underneath and then roll it just like that, just like that. And that's gonna go right here. So I just wanted to pop in and let you lovelies know that you do not have to do exactly what I am doing when it comes to pinning up your barrel rolls. Definitely do what best suits you and your style. This is definitely meant to be inspiration. What I'm doing here is just pinning up my barrel rolls in the way that best suits me because y'all know my hair is long and thick AF. my hair this condensed up off my neck and together yes darling we are rocking in the same boat excuse the angle of the camera as per usual well it's just to show you guys uh, what I'm doing so you can actually get in there and see what I'm doing okay y'all ready for this fabulous nest Next, darling, because I am. This is my birthday hair, so you know I'm going to slay all day. <laughs> anyway, show you guys what I'm doing. So, of course, I've already started the top part. Y'all know the top part that I had wrapped up into a little bun. Yes, here we go. So, I waited until I got to the front so I can show you guys. And I really didn't have to start from the beginning because it's really repetitive. So, I just need to show you guys one or two times and I'm pretty sure that you'll get it. So, I pretty much just took one pipe cleaner and I bended it and twisted it like this. If you want to see how I do pipe cleaners, you can definitely watch How to Prep Pipe Cleaner, my How to Prep Pipe Cleaner video. But I only have one single pipe cleaner. And I just did the same method with a loop. I just bend it, made a loop, and twisted it right here. So I'm just taking it and wrapping it around, just like I do any other pipe cleaner, curl. But the difference in this one, look girl, I gotta get back, cause my hair's so long, it's making me be off the screen, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, I'm just rolling it, rolling it up. But the difference between this particular curl and the others that I normally do y'all know that I usually like to scrunch my um my curl I usually like to scrunch it up so, so whereas though it'll be really short you know um and I also wrap them loose I'm wrapping this loose too 
but I'm not scrunching it. You know what I mean? I'm not scrunching it up like when I, when I like slide it down like that. I'm not doing that step. I'm just literally wrapping my lock around the length of this entire pipe cleaner. And it's just one pipe cleaner, so it's really thin. So that's what I'm doing, just like that. Because I want the length of this to be my bang, so I'm not scrunching it. So I just did that, and then I just fold it over. See, I have a piece, and I just fold it over. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. So, for all of my ladies who have questions like, Kenyatta, that is gonna stick your brain, girl. Listen, so I bend it down, and what I do is, I don't know if y'all can see, see the end of this pipe cleaner? I'm gonna bend it under, and see where it is? I'm gonna fold it, and I'm gonna like tuck it, like I'm sticking it into my lock. I don't know if you guys can see. It's a little loop and I'm kind of like sticking it into my lock, sticking the, the pointy part into my lock. See, it's like a loop and it's stuck into my lock and I just stick it there, stick the pointy part there. See, I don't know if you guys can see. See, it's stuck there and once I stick it in, I just kind of squeeze it in like that. Squeeze it in. See how it's kind of stuck? stuck into the lock. I don't know if I can see. See? It's kind of stuck into my lock. And that way I don't have to worry about anything poking my hair. Okay? <laughs> Girl, I'm gonna let y'all know. Girl, listen. Y'all feeling me yet? Because I'm definitely feeling myself. <laughs> Alright, lovelies. So I am finished um, bending the end parts of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys why or shall I say at least one of the reasons that I love absolutely love pipe cleaners okay because you really can manipulate them into any way that you want and I was going for this kind of like pinup bang swoop kind of look so yeah for tuning in and watching my video I really do appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already subscribed like I always say back hand slap that bell like it stole something from you okay share this video with all of your friends like this video if you like this hairstyle Okay, this is definitely different for me because your girl don't like bangs, but I am rocking them this go around. So give it a thumbs up for that. Comment down below and let me know what you think about this style. Yay or nay.